Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines. I have a two-stage 28-inch Sears Craftsman snow thrower that I was going to show how I put an auger drive belt on. I want to come over to the bench and show you the tools that I work on, or tools that we need to work on a machine with. It's not many. We have a quarter-inch drive ratchet if you want it, a 3-8 socket. I use my electric tool to make it a little bit easier for me. It's a 3-8 socket quarter-inch drive. We have a hand clamp so we can hold the handles down on the top of the handle. This is the belt and the belt number. This is the model number of this machine that we're working on. It's a 247-886900. And not sure if it's going to be identical to yours, but just go to the Sears Parts website and look up your model number, and then you can get to the part number for the auger belt. I definitely recommend OEM belts because aftermarket belts tend to wear out very quickly. So keep that in mind when you're putting on belts. All right, and then underneath, we need to have a 9 16 and a 19 millimeter wrench to take off a, a guide bolt that we have to get out of there. So first thing we're gonna do is take off the outer cover. It's a 3 8 on the one side bolt. And then we have 3 8 on the other side. Just two bolts to take off the cover. This is the, the auger cover. A little tricky to get off sometimes, but it should pull right up out of there. All right, the belt that we're going to be replacing today is this auger belt right here. Okay, and now we actually have to get underneath the machine to uh, start taking off the. the there's a, a guide bolt in the bottom that we have to take off. So if you want to come under the machine, we have. It's a pan, pan for underneath here. We'll, get, we'll be able to get to that guide bolt that we have to get out. It has, they, back in the day, they had six of these bolts. This one only has four bolts. Pretty straightforward. Sometimes this pan can actually get a little tricky to get off. It has a lip in here, and the lip, you have to kind of pull it, wiggle it out, just like that, and then you have to pull it down. There's a little spring tension on it there. And then it has a little slit in the back side here that it actually goes up into, and you have to kind of pull it out of that slide. So just remember when you put it back in there, it has these two little grooves in the back there that it actually has to go up into, like that. All right, so when you put it up, it'll have that. Just make sure you put it back correctly. All right. So now we have to get to this guy right here, which for the video purposes is where you need the 19 millimeter on top. And then this is a, a 9 16 on the bottom. And this keeps the belt, this is the auger belt right here. This keeps, this actually keeps it from popping off down the bottom. I can't pull that belt out right now. We're gonna take it off, but see there's the belt, the auger belt. See, it won't come off right here. So just make sure you, you just loosen it. You don't have to take it off all the way. Just loosen it up and it slides right out. Okay, so just remember that you have to take that off. Just don't forget to put it back on. Now, there's another thing we have to do here is there's the brake. When you, when you engage your auger belt, there's a brake and it's moving right here. This brake has to be in the, the, the auger belt's gonna be on and the brake's gonna be away from the pulley when we take this belt off. So we gotta go around to the front again with the belts. Let's take, take a look up top. What you wanna do is take your belt off the front pulley first and just set it aside. Then you're gonna to have to take, oh, I forgot to mention, or did I mention the hand clamp? I think I did mention it. All right, we wanna get up to the auger, auger handle, and we wanna put that auger handle in the on position and hold it down with the clamp. All right, now what that's going to do is that puts this brake in the off position, or the, actually, the belt technically is on, but it's not, but that it brings the brake away. All right, so now we have the belt as it just dropped down, so you can take it off of the where the bolt was for the for the guide right here, this guide bolt, and that, that's off. You can take it out from there, and actually, we're going to, I'm just thinking out loud here, we're actually going to also move this disc by we're gonna need two hand clamps because we're gonna move this disc back so we can so we can get the belt out. So going back up to the handles, you wanna push down on your drive belt 
And what that does, you're going to have to come around to the front and see this. What that does is right here in the center, there's a bolt to both those pulleys. Now, I'm going to release the drive belt so you can see this on video. All right, it goes in and out, in and out. I don't even know if you can see that. Yeah, it does. It moves back just a little bit. So by putting the drive handle down, it'll actually allow us to get the belt between the two pulleys. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take it off the bottom pulley, okay, and push it up a little bit, and I'm gonna come up to the front here, and we're just gonna try to wiggle them between both. All right, so now we're gonna have to, you, getting it up through there, you gotta turn it sideways sometimes. It's a little tricky. But we should have just enough clearance. Now I'm going to take off the auger handle to make a little bit more room for the belt to come out. And by doing so, I had to release the drive handle, which I just put back. Okay. So now we're just basically just trying to pull this up out of there. And now we're down to that bolt. Now, if you can just turn these sideways, you should be able to get it to come out of there. Hmm. Okay, so I uh, pulled on it a little bit tough right there and it actually came out. But if you could turn it sideways, it does come out. But leaving it just as it is, we're gonna replace it. We're gonna put the new belt in. Now the new belt, did not come ribbed like the old belt, but it doesn't really matter. This was the OEM belt for this machine. Just have to get the twist on it to get it to go down in there. And I think we're gonna, we almost got it there. All right, so I'm gonna get a small screwdriver and try to pry, push on that belt. Not pry on it, push on it. I just make that large screwdriver. Just gotta push it down past that hole. Just don't want to hurt the belt, it's brand new. Don't like to do that, but that one there is a bear. And you have to do the bottom pulleys and you do have to since i had the auger belt tension released we have to engage that again leave that off the front pulley i'm going to engage that so we can get the bottom on which is right here so it goes right past this brake which is right here all right so once that's on there top and just pull up on it a little bit see since we have this engaged it's gonna be a little tricky right. now I'm gonna disengage the handle so it will hold the brake on and it'll pull that pulley back out so I have a little more room to play with And you just have to finagle it in there. And then get your front. This belt's so new, it's so stiff. Alright, now we should be real close here. I think I was stuck on the lower driver. All right, so it wasn't the easiest, but I did get it. And the main thing is, right down there, where that's moving back and forth, that is your drive. That's for your drive right there. And you just want to have that handle down when you're, when you're putting it between there. 
And then once you get it all like that, then you take your brake off and you have your belts in. Just double check, make sure underneath that you're on the pulleys under here. All right, and your brake, you have the belt on the right side of the brake on the inside of the V on the pulley. Then you take your guide and you're gonna slip that back in there. Like I said, 9 16 on the bottom, 19 millimeter on top. Tighten that up and that's your belt guide there. And as far as adjusting this, I'm gonna put the machine down a little bit so I can show you how to adjust the auger tension. All right, so looking at our front, we have a lot of slack right here. Okay, now when you when you have a lot of slack, it tells me one thing. A lot of the old snow blowers used to have belt guides that would come out from these holes here, and you wonder why these belts don't fall off. The covers are now made as the guides. So these covers right here, and this one's actually very worn. The guides will run, and you can see where this guy's why we're putting the that's why we're putting the belt on. It was basically wearing it out here. If you want, you can replace these. I've never really had an issue with the covers actually not doing their job. Um, but don't be don't be alarmed when you see this much play. Now, as far as adjusting your adjuster, your auger is here. Your auger handle is on the left hand side for this one for adjusting the belt tension. Now, I like to see the belt tension on the handle. You kind of have to look at the belt and your handle at the same time. So I like to have it where we're going to go over to the belt and I'll show you. When the, when the pulley here stops moving, okay? So basically when, you, when you're holding your handle down and the pulley stops moving, that's your, I'm going to show the tension on the handle. So this handle only has about an inch of tension. You want to have, I want to have the tension up about right there as far as when that pulley stops moving. So how you get that tension is you come around to the other side here. It's three eighths for this. This is how you adjust your tension on your auger. So you loosen this up. Some of them had a slide on the bottom and these were already able to slide up and down. You only had to loosen up the top one. So you loosen up and you, the more tension you put on is down less tension is up. But we want to have more tension, so we're gonna pull this down a little bit, not much. We're gonna pull it down, tighten it up. Then we're gonna come back up and check our tension once, once again, and we have to go around and look at the pulley. Okay, so that's off, that's on. And right when the pulley just about stops to work is where I like this handle. So this handle is probably about, it might be a tick high, about two and a half inches high when that pulley is actually stopped. So right now is the tension what I like. I'm gonna leave it there. It might be a tick it might be a tick tight, but it's good. And pretty much when you let go of your handles, your belt guides in here on this cover will stop that belt from moving. So make sure you button everything up. You put your bottom cover on after you put your bottom cover on. You tighten this bolt up, and like I said, this guy here will just slide up into the grooves. This is a little tricky sometimes to get it in here, but slide up. This is push that in. You got your four here, and then I always clean this out your belt guide and your belt cover for your auger. Always clean that out, and we put our initials on it so we know the date that we did it, and it's just a matter of getting that in there and putting your two bolts on that and that should be pretty much it we're all adjusted you could uh pretty much say that i think we're complete and then you test run it make sure everything's good if you like the video please give me a thumbs up appreciate you watching and please subscribe